Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Boeing 777 Trijet. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you receive notifications when I post a new video. The Boeing 777 is a wide body developed and manufactured by Boeing commercial airplanes. Commonly referred to as the 777, the 777 was designed to bridge the gap between Boeing 767, a twin engine jet, and the 747, a four engine jet, and to replace the older DC 10s or L 1011s, both three engine jets or tri jets. Long before the Boeing 777 twin engine came to be, it was actually planned to be a tri jet. In this video, we're going to go into detail on exactly what changed. In the early 1970s, the Boeing 747, McDonnell Douglas DC 10, and the Lockheed L-1011 TriStar became the first generation of wide-body passenger airliners to enter service. In 1978, Boeing unveiled three new models, the twin-engine Boeing 757 to replace its 727, the twin-engine 767 to challenge the Airbus A300, and a trijet 777 concept to compete with the DC-10 and L-1011. The mid-sized 757 and 767 launched to market success, due in part to the 1980s extended twin engine operational performance standards or ETOPS regulations governing transoceanic twin engine operations. These regulations allowed twin engine airliners to make ocean crossings at up to three hours distance from emergency diversionary airports. Under ETOP rules, airlines began operating the 767 on long distance overseas routes that did not require the capacity of larger airliners. The Trijet 777 was later dropped. Following these market studies that favored the 757 and 767 variant, Boeing was left with a size and range gap in its product line between the 767-300ER and the Boeing 747-400. By the late 1980s, the DC-10 and L-1011 models were approaching retirement age, prompting manufacturers to develop replacement designs. McDonnell Douglas was working on a MD-11 a stretched and upgraded successor of the DC-10, while Airbus was developing its A330 and A340 series. In 1986, Boeing unveiled proposals for an enlarged 767, tentatively named the 767X, to target the replacement market for first-generation wide bodies such as the DC-10 and to complement its existing 767 and 747 model in the company lineup. The initial proposal featured a longer fuselage and larger wings than the existing 767, along with winglets. Later plans expanded the fuselage cross-section but retained the existing 767 flight deck nose and other elements. Airline customers were uninterested in the 767X proposals and instead wanted an even larger fuselage cross section, fully flexible interior configurations, short to intercontinental range capability and an operating cost lower than that of any 767 stretch. Airline planners' requirements for larger aircraft had become increasingly specific, adding to the heightened competition among aircraft manufacturers. By 1988, Bowen realized that the only answer was a new clean sheet design, which became the 777 Twin Jet. The company opted for the twin engine configuration given past design successes project engine developments, and reduced cost benefit. On December 8, 1989, Boeing began issuing offers to airlines for the 777. What are your thoughts on the decision to keep the Boeing 777 as a twin engine aircraft? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications when I upload a new video. That's all for this video. It's been Marlon the Aviator, and I'm out.